Hi guys, it's Maska. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited for today's video because right now, yes, we are all quarantined and I think that it's so important to have something to look forward to, something that will keep you in a good headspace. I definitely know that making a bucket list will get me out of a bad headspace. So as I just mentioned, today's video is a after quarantine bucket list ideas video. So you can create your own bucket list. Go right now, grab some notepads and a pen and start writing because I'm about to give you 25 bucket list ideas for what to do after quarantine. And if you guys are from countries which are still struggling, I wish you the best, stay safe and well, and just know that you will find the light at the end of the tunnel. That was so cliche. Before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads and give this video a thumbs up. All right. Let's get into it. Number one is sleep at a different friend's house every night for a week. This is if you're really, really tired of being at home with your family and you just want to see your friends. I actually really want to do this because I feel like group catch-ups isn't enough to catch up with everyone on everything. You could do face masks, have pillow fights, and do all of the pamper night stuff that you would do alone in quarantine, but now do it with your friends and have fun, catch up and gossip or like whatever you want to do. Number two is go to an after quarantine party. Guys, I am so excited to finally go out after quarantine is over. I can't wait when someone creates a Facebook event and it's like after quarantine party. I'm like, <laughs> I need that whole process of getting ready with my friends and the music and all like the fun that we have together and just the adventures. It's such a huge part of being a teenager and it really does suck that for some of us, for a lot of us in year 12, we don't get to have these events. Well, for all of us, <laughs> but it is what it is. And let's just look forward to when we can. Number three is photo shoots. So begin to get your Instagram feed back into gear. I am so excited to plan little photo shoots with my friends and just have a fun day where we change outfits and go to different locations. Get that Insta feed looking really nice because <laughs> right now it's kind of lacking. I just want to get photos with my friends as well after such a long time of getting photos only by myself. And then you'll have the photos to look back on like the first time you went out after quarantine. Number four is go to an outdoor cinema. I feel like we have all binge watched movies and TV shows in quarantine. So now I feel like going to the cinemas and especially an outdoor cinema will be such a level up and it will be so fun going with your friends and having all these blankets and snacks instead of just having all the blankets and snacks in your room. <laughs> Number five is plan a weekend road trip with your friends. I think this is so perfect because you guys have a whole weekend to catch up on everything you need to and you can finally create the memories that you missed out on creating during quarantine. I feel like just planning for this one will be so fun to see who's driving, who's going to bring which snacks and like how many blankets you're going to bring, where you're going to sleep. You can even have a Zoom call with your friends and plan it. I feel like just having a trip to look forward to is always good. Giving them the biggest hug when you see them. I'm so excited to hug all my best friends and just people I haven't seen in a while. I really miss that warm feeling you get from a hug and I just can't wait to hug my friends. Number seven is dress fancy and go to dinner in the city. I felt like a mature adult when I did this last year and <laughs> cause I wore like this blazer and then we got donuts afterwards. So you can make that a little night out with the girls when restrictions first start to ease because they weren't all ease at once. So. Um, instead of a quarantine party, which will happen afterwards, you could just go out for dinner with your friends in the meanwhile. Number eight is post quarantine glow up. So the day they announced restrictions at ease, literally fake tan, do your eyebrows, do a face mask, shave, do everything that you need to glow up. Guys, like literally 20 minutes ago, I found out that my online school quarantine routine reached 700,000 views. Thank you so much. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. I'm just so thankful. Mwah. Love you all. Number nine is search up what's on in your community and go to those events. I'm sure there will be so many events after quarantine for us to all enjoy. Connecting with your community after such a hard time, I think is a perfect way to end this whole quarantine thing. Number 10 is rollerblading slash skating. Try it out. This also relates to trying out new things. As you can tell in the video that I'm about to show you, this was definitely a new thing for me. <laughs> Two. Are you okay, man? Number 11 is go to your favorite cafe. Not only is this a fun catch up with your friends, but you're also supporting a small business. Number 12 is have study dates with friends. So yes, we're all going to be so excited to go to an after quarantine party and to just like 
enjoy life after quarantine but we don't want to fall behind on schoolwork i know that right now with online school i am falling behind on schoolwork and i'm trying to work on it i know that once i get back into face-to-face -face learning i'll be way more motivated to do my work that's just how i am so when quarantine is finished and we are back at school um i think study dates with friends is perfect because you also get to catch up with your friends and you get work done together so you don't fall behind in school number 13 is meet new people slash reunite with old friends Go to the beach with your friends and jump off of the pier. This is so freeing, just the moment when you jump. It is currently winter in Australia, but once spring is here, I will be at the beach every single day. I'm so excited. I feel like this also relates to going on mini adventures, and this was one of my New Year's resolutions at the start of the year for 2020. My first New Year's resolution is going on mini adventures. Obviously, I couldn't do that much because 2020 is... Do I even have to explain it? I don't think so. <laughs> Go on a huge shopping spree with the money that you haven't spent in quarantine. So yes, you may be doing online shopping, but if you have saved up money in quarantine because you're working from home or something like that, have a huge shopping spree. I feel like this would be so fun to just get new dresses, new makeup, new workout clothes, new room decor, and also you can feel good because you're helping the economy. <laughs> As I entered my purchasing palace, I was thinking what any typical teenage girl was thinking. What can I spend $86,400 on? Guys, I don't know what number I am up to. 16, I'm on 16. Yeah. Get a gym membership with a group of friends. I know a lot of you have been missing going to the gym. So once quarantine is over, I'm gonna get my group of friends and we're just gonna go join classes and do Zumba, Pilates. Once school is back, go to school early so you can study because I know for sure that when I go back to school, I'll definitely appreciate the spaces that we have to learn way more. That's basically like life. Once you're deprived of something, you realize how grateful you are for it. I'll definitely be going to school earlier to study and basically just catch up on work and use the study spaces that I've got because I need a change of mindset. I really just need to be in a different room to study in because being in my room to study with all of my distractions surrounding me is pretty Pretty hard guys. I know for you guys it can be too. I need to turn on airplane mode otherwise I will not get work done so if you get distracted by a phone easily airplane mode. For now let's just do what we can. Don't stress yourself out too much about not being as productive as you would be but once school is back use those few hours at the start of the day to catch up on your work and your learning. I actually made such a fun video a few weeks ago and it's called my 5:30 a.m. school morning routine. I went to school every morning at 6:30 and it was an experience. I got some studying done. Go check out that video if you need some motivation to go to school early. Number 18 is create a little band with your friends. This can just be a one day thing. I feel like everyone in the childhood has talked about like, oh, you be the guitarist, I'll be the vocalist. Who knows, maybe you'll actually write something good and produce something amazing. Number 19 is go out with no plan and see where the night takes you. Honestly, I've done this before. It can turn into a trip to Macca's, McDonald's, or you can end up meeting new people and having a great night. Either way, you still have those memories to look back on. Number 20 is start using a film camera to capture those real moments. Yes, it's so fun going on photo shoots and getting like 400 photos to only pick one in the end. But with a film camera, you capture those real moments where you have candid laughing, real candid laughing. And I feel like they're way more special and way more real. Go to a festival. Obviously, we'll have to wait for restrictions to be eased completely for this one to happen. But I can't wait to dress up in that Coachella style look, listen to good live music and get really cute photos. One thing I do really miss about festivals and shows and all those things is the mosh bit and dancing and jumping. I think that is just so fun and that's like one of the highlights of festivals for me to be honest. Post a picnic. So go to one of your local botanical gardens, make a Facebook group and invite all of your close friends or just friends and tell them to bring anyone they want to just catch up on everything, play board games, get each person to bring something, fruits, vegetables or chips hot food, whatever. I think this is so cute. I've been to some before that my friends have hosted. Go to a sunflower or a flower field. I've never been to a sunflower field in my life. I wanted to go to one in Hawaii, but it wasn't the season. So once quarantine is over, I definitely want to go to any, any kind of flower field. I feel like they're just so magical seeing the flowers continue on and on and on and on. 
Another thing you can do is cook with your friends and then have a nice dinner afterwards or even breakfast you can make a side bowls. Everyone can bring a few ingredients so instead of just having friends over for dinner you can make the whole thing even more fun by making the dinner with your friends. I always know that you are too damn selfish Turn away I love to you Wake up early to see the sunrise. We've all had extra hours of sleep during quarantine and I feel like after quarantine we can kind of let that go a bit and wake up even a little bit earlier to see the sun rise. Uh, I think I already said that. <laughs> That's such a cute like idea. Honestly, I think I'm gonna do that. Wake up really early before everyone else is awake. I'm so excited to like see people. Oh my god. Let's hope there was 25 ideas. I wasn't counting Anyway, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I hope your notebooks are now filled in with a list of things to do after quarantine Text your friends right now have a zoom call and be like let's plan our after quarantine life I want to have that teen movie adventure filled life after quarantine I feel like these ideas will definitely help me do that Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video Make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Bye When you're gone